Good evening, collectives, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, so what I like to do is to give a reading for those of you who have Aquarius teenagers. Ranging in age from 13 to 19, of course. Okay? Because, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen. Your son or daughter is beginning to start making very crucial decisions in discovering new things such as jobs, relationships, friends, as well as school. However, amid everything that new seemed to be transpiring in his or her life, wouldn't it be very spectacular if we could like just exert in how it's really all going to turn out? And so with that said, that's basically what my intention is to do here for you guys today I'm, I'm basically i'm going to start off by you know examining your son or daughter's current situation and then i'm going to look at what might be hidden as well as to provide practical advice and a probable outcome okay i'm going to be using today my kids tarot deck here let me just get those out for you okay and I'm just going to ask Spirit, what is it that we really need to know, particularly concerning this school year in question, because it, it, this reading is valid until next year. And we just want to see what it is that we can do to ensure Aquarius passes or just be successful in general. Please understand collectives as well as you Aquarius teens out here. If I predict something in this reading, if you don't like, that you don't like, understand that nothing is certainly written in stone. You can definitely change the picture. So just realize what you're currently doing at this moment. And if, you know, some dangers are ahead or pitfalls, you might want to consider the warnings that I'm going to share with you in this reading. Okay, rest assured, guys, that this reading may not and will not resonate for each and every one of you out there, but for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the valuable information to really steer you in the right direction. So, let's get on with your reading here. So, Spirit, what is it that you would like me to share with Aquarius teens, particularly during this this school year term, 2022 into 2023, okay? Let's start off by just looking at a few cards at the bottom of the deck here, okay? We have Tower. My goodness, it came up in reverse. So that could be a good sign for some of you, all right? I'm just going to pull a few cards and then we're going to discuss them. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, that's also in its reverse position. And we have the four wands. Very, very positive looking, victorious type card, right? And I'm going to select one more card here. We have the moon queen. All right. Now in this deck, this card is called the moon queen. But recognize that this card is the high priestess in most decks, okay? So let's set this card down here and let's go on and just try to, to, to give you a story. All right, let's start off with the tower reversed. All right, so with the tower reversed, it represents a fire sign, Leo, Aries, and or Sagittarius, okay? So it seems to be suggesting here because usually when this card is upright, it usually shows a tower moment that's going to happen here. Something, uh, a catastrophe, something shocking, you know? But this is certainly showing that you're going to avert 
a curveball or disaster, okay? And the storm that some of you may be feeling at this moment will soon pass, okay? This card is calling for you to trust your instincts, Aquarius, and recognize that radical changes are about to, to come about for you or, in fact, just around the corner. Things are, or things as you've become accustomed to knowing, will be much different this term, I'm feeling. Nothing you need to recognize here, that nothing certainly is, nothing is holding you back. It's time that you deal with your problems head on and take a leap of faith, all right? But try to avoid confrontations at all costs here. And this is not only limited to friendships, also with your family here, all right? Because I feel that someone might even, in fact, also, you know, this is a warning, so please heed it. Someone may also get in an accident of some sort, particularly for those of you, of you, you're engaging in, you know, extracurricular activities or some type of physical type activity I'm getting. You could get injured in that. So just be cautious, okay? Or there might even be a car accident where you're injured, okay? So just be extra careful during this term here and try to... This card is telling you, try to stay away from destructive people. And at the end of the reading, I'm, I'm going to be pulling a few letters to kind of help you identify people around whom you might want to be a bit vigilant because everybody has bu bullies, okay? We've all gone to school here. I mean, it's been years ago, but we all have bullies or people who don't really have our best interests at heart, okay? And I'm going to help you unmask these people as we move forward. So, I'm feeling just getting back to what I was saying here is that many of you will have problems I'm getting with friendship. So, that's why I kind of tell you to, to really avoid confrontations. I also see you performing poorly and have no clue how to really improve your grades. Or this is where I'm kind of this is a part of the energy. Or you want to improve your grades, but you just don't know how to do so. So the key here, particularly this year, is that you need to really try to schedule a meeting with your teacher or sit with one of your parents or whatever if you know if he or she could, could assist you or both. And find ways to, to get extra credit this year. Because that's the way that I, I see that you're going to be able to improve yourself. Perhaps you're studying the wrong way. I recall when I was younger, I, I um, saw this commercial that came on called Where There's a Will, There's an A. And I looked it up. It still exists. So some of you may want to, you know, try to utilize that approach. Let's go on and just look at the next card here that we have. We have that Seven of Cups reverse. Which also is a good sign too, ladies and gentlemen, because of course it represents a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? But this Seven of Cups, it kind of represents, it represents actually, because it's reversed, realism, confidence, a determined spirit. It represents a decisive approach. So it shows here that of course, if you guys heed the advice, as I discuss here with this reverse tower, okay? It shows you finally making up your mind to do things the right way. It also shows your perseverance paying off handsomely. In ways, Aquarius, that you could have never possibly imagined. You will also apply yourself more this term here I'm getting. Because this Seven of Cups is up, I mean, reverse here. Usually when it's upright, you usually have a focus type issue here. But this card is telling you 
that if you continue to focus and plan properly, you're going to definitely achieve the success that you've been seeking. Because oh, I, I see an award well-deserved is going to be coming to you despite your previous struggles here with this tower, right? And you're certainly you're going to know what's right for you and doing what's right for you. And particularly, I'm getting here, you're going to be able to kind of weed out these false friends here, but I'm also going to share you with you the letters so that you can hone in on who these people, on whom these people might be, okay? But I do have a warning here. I want you to try not to get caught up with too much pleasure here because there is a strong possibility that some of you might even be using drugs or just drinking alcohol or just taking pills, doing something in excess here that you need to be a bit more moderate. Understand that you are fine, Aquarius, just as you are. But try to build up your courage and self-esteem a bit more this year. Because this will certainly make you a very diligent student that both your parents and perhaps your teachers have been wishing that you try to, you know, apply yourself a bit more. I feel that this also will lead to all types of rewards with the presence here that we see here next, that four of wands, all right? And that also represents a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here. And having that presence there, ladies and gentlemen, it certainly suggests some type of celebration is forthcoming. All right, it shows fun. It shows, you know, really, although the tendency is to give up and just run away and evade situations or just simply quit, but this shows you're not giving up on your goals. Rest assured, Aquarius, that good news is certainly on the way for you and will be coming towards you, particularly during this term. It could be a party, a special gathering, or a celebration of a long-cherished achievement to include graduating at the top of your class, making a dean's list, the honor roll, receiving scholarships, and various types of things that come from that. It shows you establishing or trying to make some effort in establishing a solid foundation upon which you can build for your future, okay? For some of you, this could possibly, quite possibly, be a coming-of-age year for many of you. One that will be sprinkled, ladies and gentlemen, with great happiness that I'm seeing here, as you see here as represented in the symbolism of this card. Okay, there are very strong possibilities if you focus, Aquarius. I also see a group award for some of you. And for those of you who are, in fact, dating or possibly in an existing situation, I do see you celebrating some type of a special day or an occasion. All right, as you know, we have a lot of holidays coming up to include Labor Day. All right. So expect a lot of invitations as well as financial gain, which will certainly make you happy, all right? And then we have here the moon queen, of course, that is equated to the, or it correlates to the high priestess. And what the high priestess says, ladies and gentlemen, is that if you really continue to trust your intuition, success is assured. She asks you to turn within to really find solutions to whatever problems that might be plaguing you, okay? Even turn to your dreams. And with this card, some of you might even be interested in divination or any, or the mystical arts or even psychology. 
I'm also seeing you training hard this year to really improve your education. And because you see by the symbolism here, a woman might also come into view here, a water sign woman here, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. All right? And she's going to help bring out all of these hidden potentials that you might not be um, cognizant of at this time. Okay? But again, trusting your instincts is certainly is going to help your grades this year. It's going to help you make the right decisions I get, I'm getting here. And rest assured, Aquarius, if it is you who are hiding something, it's time to get real because that secret is going to come out, whatever it is that you're trying to hide. Okay? So it's time to... You know, really just get real this year, ladies and gentlemen, I'm kind of feeling. Be authentic. And for some of you, you might even be having problems with embracing your true sexual identity. That, 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 that's also what I'm seeing, too. So, again, to thine own self, be true, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, now let's go on and select a few cards just to see how your story will, in fact, unfold here. We're going to examine your current situation, what might be hidden in your situation, as well as give you practical advice to steer you in the right direction. And keep in mind, collectives, as well as you Aquarius teams out there, if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with others to whom you think might benefit. All right? Make sure that you take some a few moments to just sit back and just press that subscription button so that when I post future readings, you'll be able to see them. So with that said, let's go on and just pull a few more cards just to gain more insight into how your story is really unfolding or will unfold. We have patience, okay? And patience is, it correlates to the hangman and the tarot. Okay. We also have the magician. All right. We have, I'm going to select some additional cards here. We have the seven of swords. Okay. We have the ace of cups here. And last but not least, we have the three of coins. All right. So let me first here just <clears throat> take a, a real close look at these cards to see and just make a few observations, ladies and gentlemen, of what I'm kind of seeing the cards are you know, really suggesting here before actually getting into the meat of what uh, these cards are kind of saying here. I'm certainly seeing here that the card seems to be placing... A lot of emphasis I'm getting on you embracing change. And it might be very difficult, or perhaps it may have been very difficult for a lot of you to do. I'm kind of getting, okay? Because this card is really calling for change and for you to really take a more you know, realistic approach at your situation here. It's all about embracing newness that many of you really need to you know take some time or, or actions towards letting the past go that I'm kind of seeing here okay it's all about telling you ladies and gentlemen to really think big and really have patience in your situation here okay so starting off with this card with patience you know, again, it connects with the hangman. It connects with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. So this card is asking you, ladies and gentlemen, it's telling you that it's time again that you, you know, slow down and really have faith that things will really go your way. It's asking you just as the symbolism is showing because you're kind of looking at things to really look at things, you know, from another perspective here. You know, change how you view your situation. Be a bit more patient with yourself and 
have because I feel that many of you might have a lot of subjects or classes that you might be considering this term and you really want to make sure that your learning will really help others. I feel that whatever it is that you want to that you're learning or your your the classes you're taking, you want it to help people. I also see your family, you know, it looks like your family is going to be very very supportive very supportive of you and that's a good thing too because sometimes when you don't really have the support there it's hard to do well when you're you know kind of going through all of these different struggles different struggles in life here okay i feel too that with this card a lot of you simply you're going to be marching to the beat of your different drummer here okay but although I feel that you're going to certainly be tested this term, you understand the lesson learned at the end. I feel the old certainly must die to really allow something new to emerge. You know, particularly as you selfishly focus on the goal, you know, the goal ahead. Or the goal to get the results that you really want. So, again, you're going to have to make a crucial decision. Let's move right along and see what might be hidden in your situation. These are good cards, though, actually. You have the Magician. Okay? So with the Magician, that connects with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So basically what comes to mind here as being what's hidden here is this card is asking you, Do you believe in magic? <laughs> you know? Because magic and success certainly surround you. It's time that you take charge of your, of your life, Aquarius. Because you do certainly, as you see here in the symbolism here, you have all of the tools, all of the resources needed to succeed. So embrace change here. And I can't stress that any more than what I have here. Embrace newness. It shows you being in the limelight, ladies and gentlemen, or Aquarius. So it's showtime. I also see you creating new things and people will want to be around you. Okay? Because of the good qualities that you're, you're kind of embracing. I feel that people are going to notice that you've matured a lot this term. I mean, since last term and... Your family will certainly tell you so. So this year, think big because you are one smart cookie. <laughs> All right. So let's look and see what the probable outcome is. I select three cards here and to give you a probable outcome as well as the vice that can move you forward here. As well as directional clues. You see how this seven of swords here is showing this person looking to the past. And still thinking about past hurts. Or perhaps even thinking about doing something deceptive. You got to get that clutter out of your head here. Alright. So back to the seven of swords ladies and gentlemen. You need to watch out for unscrupulous toxic people this year. Someone might try to even steal something from you or possibly... Plagiarize your ideas or Aquarius. Is it you who might try to do this? If so, you're certainly going to get caught. Don't do it. All right. Try to maintain balance this year and be more self reliant and don't become a victim. Don't embrace self defeating actions, which is going to affect your grade, which will affect your grade significantly. Okay. Now, if you are, in fact, involved in any sports or whatever this year, you might even find yourself in an unfair situation where you're feeling a bit cheated. Just notice that someone around you appears to be wearing a mask in your situation, and this represents an air sign, but it could be any sign here. Okay. Which is why we're going to pull a few letters at the end. So... Don't really put yourself or put your eggs, if you will, all in one basket. Because you certainly might get burnt. 
be a bit more vigilant. All right. And then we have the Ace of Cups here. All right. That's a very good card here. So that shows great promise, ladies and gentlemen. It shows new beginnings of all sorts. I also see you making new friends with this card and kind of letting go of those who don't really serve your interests. Some of you might even become very interested in the arts, perhaps English, literature, teaching, or even perhaps counseling. And you might even discover that ladies or gentlemen, that either you've conceived or that you are, in fact, pregnant. Or you, gentlemen, have impregnated someone else. Or someone may have a child. Okay? So keep an open mind. And let's look at your last card here. We have the Three of Coins. Also a very successful card for this type of reading here. And that specifically shows here, ladies and gentlemen, that people are going to recognize you. They're going to recognize things that you've accomplished. They're going to recognize the effort and hard work that you've put in to be successful. Okay? I'm seeing growth, honor, good grades, even certification in a specialized field for some of you. A diploma. Even relocation or relocating for some of you. I feel that many of you are a perfectionist and you're going to be rewarded for being so this year. And some of you might even receive some type of a group award, but everyone will recognize your hard work. Public acclaim is certainly imminent here that I'm seeing. All right. So let me go on to, as I've already identified here, I'm going to go on and just take out my letters here to count, to help you identify the people around whom you should be vigilant. Because, of course, as I said, there are always bullies or somebody that's always trying to distract us. It could be even peer pressure. Things that you need to stay, people that you need to kind of stay away from. Okay? So, also, if your name appears here, it means that you're going to be kind of being your own worst enemy as well. All right? So Spirit, guide me to the correct 20 letters to help Aquarius recognize this person who might be wearing a mask, including yourself, Aquarius. And if so, then you might want to take make some changes. And keep in mind, if this reading has resonated or is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe. Okay, let's see who this person might be. All right, we have a J, an N, an A, O, W, A, We have a blank tablet, which means that you will be able to insert whatever letter that you will want if it would complete a name. You know, for instance, if, you know, you have a friend named John and, and J, O, and N appears in the reading, you can use this to make H, okay? We have a G. We, get, we have an I. A T, an R, we have another R, a U, an E, okay, let's see how many letters we have, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, Spirit, we need 6 more letters, please. T E O N We have an I and last but not least we have a D. Let me call these back to you to make sure that everyone has these letters as 
I've called them to you. Okay, we have two A's, one D. There's two, uh, there are two O's, two E's, two N's, two T's, two I's, a J, a W, two R's, a G, a U, and a blank tablet, as I indicated, that you could insert whatever letter that you wish. All right. So in conclusion today, Aquarius and Collectors, I'd just like to leave you with two final messages here. And I'm going to go on and shuffle up another Oracle deck here to just leave you with these two final messages that Spirit would like you to share. Something that you can contemplate moving forward, particularly during this school term. Okay. Spirit, what final two messages would you like for me to share with Aquarius? Okay. Escape is. It's time, Aquarius, that you come home to yourself. Again, don't let pleasure take advantage of you. Don't be your worst enemy this year. All right? Come home to yourself. Continue to focus and do what's needed. And last but not least... Storm, understand that every hurricane comes to an end at some point, and yours is certainly about to come to an end. All of these 